Yes, more wafting. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, P Nation? Today, Caroline, who accompanied us through Bali and Australia, she and I are going to attempt to make some delicious Thai food. But first, we need to get to the grocery store. Let's go. Okay, so our first stop is a Thai grocery store. We're gonna try and find all these items. We have an entire list of things to get, so hopefully we can find the things that we remember kind of from our cooking class in Thailand. Let's do this. We just found kefir, kefir lime leaf which I didn't even know you could get in the US. You can literally find everything here. I was like, we're not gonna find pickled mustard green. And here it is. Yum. So when we took our cooking class, the instructor was like, you have to have this Thai chili paste. It's like, like a blue bottle and it's like, grandma on it. So I'm really hoping we'll be able to find it here. We have found everything we've needed to find to make actual Thai food. What are we looking for? You'll know it when you see it. This is not the chili paste we were after, but I think this is going to be the closest version of what we were looking for. We have no clue what we're doing. We got everything we needed, minus grandma chili paste, but that's okay. And it only came out to $33. We just bought like the entire starter pack to a Thai kitchen, like so much stuff. All right, we have one more stop, getting a few more items on our list, and then we're gonna head to the kitchen and start cooking. So now we're in the kitchen, and we are about to make cow soy. We are so excited. So. We have gone to all the grocery stores. We've gotten all of the foreign items that I've never bought in my entire life. The cookbook that we got from our cooking class in Thailand that was supposed to like guide us through this entire process, I left it at home. Even though I kind of have like a little bit of a culinary background, this is just like so foreign. And we took that cooking class like a year and a half ago. So let's begin. We're first gonna make the paste. We just bought this beautiful mortar and pestle from H-E-B. Uh, we definitely don't have the right kind of chilies, but you know, we're working with what we got. So the recipe calls for two large shallots. Actually, I think that's like way too much. Did I explain that, that I have no idea? This is for onion. Shallot. You know what? I changed my mind. We're adding all of it. I also have to think like when we took that class, we were just making one portion. <laughs> It's like makes eight servings. Oh, what are oh we no! Doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would I like to say about Thai food? Thai food is so good. This smells delicious. All those fresh flavors. Projectile flying <laughs> everywhere. Oh, Sorry, he doesn't dogs. like it. I feel like I don't have like enough chilies in here. Maybe we're nowhere oh. near it. Oh Get it, girl. <laughs> oh, my eyes are burning. It's like a it's like an oniony flavor in the air. For it being like a lot more red. Whatever this does turn out to be, I think it's going to be delicious. It might not taste exactly like cassoy, but it'll be pretty darn close. We're a little tired of smashing and it's really loud and Carolyn has neighbors, so we're just gonna call this worry. like good. I think it's good. I think it looks great. This is what we're working with. Candle, 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 GoPro. <laughs> it works. Got a boogie. <laughs> Me? We have our paste. It's pretty chunky, but we really did our best. It was a really hard workout. We're on to the second part where we actually have to make the soup. So the first part was just making the paste. Now we have to make soup. So we're heating our wok up and we have all of our ingredients and I pre-sliced some chicken and hopefully this just goes really well. Do you have anything to say, Daisy? Really spicy. I really feel like that's a good amount. 
do it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells Delicious. amazing. This smells absolutely amazing. Like all of the smells and flavors from the actual Thailand. But first, let's try it. Ah. Both at the same time? Yeah. Coconut milk. This is seriously the creamiest coconut milk I've ever seen, ever. Yeah. Like I feel like it's too much coconut milk, but I'm not about to complain. No, coconut milk is the best. I swear it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be more red. I thought cow soy was yellow. No. Cow soy is yellow. It's Because not I've yellow. been to Thailand and I've had this before. You've never been to Thailand. <laughs> I really, I feel like it's gonna be really chunky and it's not supposed to be chunky. I think we kind of messed up with the paste. Oh well, there's no turning back. Mm -hmm. Needs salt. Chicken. Mm -hmm. I know we keep saying it, and that you can't smell it, but it smells really good. Maybe try describing the smell. It smells good. Good idea. <laughs> it smells a lot like lemongrass. I can smell the kefir lime leaf. I don't know if you can. I've, I think it smells really good. It's a, honestly, it's a lot of lemongrass. I'm smelling a lot of lemongrass. Like with garlic and chili, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fish sauce. Eat the fish. You guys, we just tasted it, and it tastes so good. Oh, she's spicy. dying a little. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to be so graceful doing this. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> now for the garnish, we have red onion. We have cilantro. We have pickled mustard greens, which I can't believe we even found. And a lime. Mm -hmm. Wow. Done. Bill. This looks so good though. I'm very excited to eat it. And it smells amazing. Mm. How do I do this? It's gonna be so good. That tastes so good with like the coconut and the spices. Mm. It's like warm, but like fresh at the same time, you know? It's a winter summer meal. I don't know what's <laughs> Also, I think I have cilantro in my tooth. Do you feel like you're in Thailand right now? I do, actually. You can like hear the the tuk tuks on the street and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all People coming back to you from riding it. From when yep. that time you were stayed there for yep. almost and I was a month. In a cooking class. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was you. That was me. I'm just so proud of us that we actually did it. I was like hating on us really hard. Yeah, she Caroline did had to say, I was like, stop. It doesn't look like it. But it does. But it does. It really does. <laughs> Ooh, this looks really good. It smells really good. The consistency is very similar to what we had in Thailand. I've been working all day, so I don't even know how long this took you. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it good? What the heck? I, wow. That is um, spot on. I would almost say better, to, to be <gasps> honest. Really? I would almost say better. Yeah, because the flavors really come through. In Thailand, it was a lot more... Um, creamier, I felt like you tasted the milk more, but that like took away all the spices. And so this is like spicy, and you can feel it in the back of your neck, and like, yeah, it is amazing. I'm gonna eat this whole bowl and then some. That's really good.